what's so lovely about this is options of where you can put it because it is somewhat narrow. Oh, sorry, you can see my water cup back there. I thought I was hiding that. Um, here, wait, let me move this. I thought I was hiding it from you all, and then the person who hid it, hit it is the person who decided to uh, show it to you. Sorry about that. Okay, so what's really cool about this is it's a nice size. It's 31 and a half inches by about nine and a half inches wide, but it's only two and a half inches deep. So you can put this anywhere, like places you wouldn't traditionally have room for a big piece like this. It's also battery operated, so it lights up. This, it looks like a beautiful window shutter. You can see right here, like there's hinges at the top and bottom, and the painting is lovely. Three easy payments of $17.64 gets this home. And I want to go right to our lovely guest for the hour. Nancy Bramuller is with us, and she's been bringing us Plow and Hearth now for a number of years. But Nancy, this is a really good example of how Plow and Hearth is always coming up with something new and exciting. It really is. You know, Plow and Hearth is a company out of Madison, Virginia that has always brought us really unique and different items and specializes in those pieces that you know you just can't find anywhere else and also kind of bringing that warmth and welcome to your home and this piece i fell in love with when it came in and this sat on my front porch all winter long last year i love this piece so much because like you said it looks like a shutter or maybe an old barn door that's been hand painted and kind of reclaimed yeah. and then someone painted it and then strung lights in there what i love is that these lights are like these miniature globes and they sort of look like snowballs falling down. And then also the painting of snowflakes and little, little, you know, snowflakes and big snowflakes. It's so beautiful and it's a great size. The fact that it's this slim nine and a half inches wide means you can put it, like you said, in a lot of places you might not be able to put a piece of wall art, maybe yeah. between a couple of windows. Or like or I look did, at and this. I propped it on I'm gonna my bring, front yeah. porch. I want to show you mm -hmm. something. You don't have to hang it. You can just, I know. yeah, like you were talking about Drop your front it. porch. Like, look how pretty yep. this is just sitting at the fireplace. You could, for right. that matter, it doesn't even have to be here. You could just put it, you know, against any wall if you wanted. Yeah. You could sit it here, you know, so you could see it next to your tree. You could really move this around. In fact, actually, mm -hmm. my goodness, I mean, it can just, it, it Look, it can stand up by itself. So really, you can put this anywhere you want. If you do want to hang it, you certainly can. There are um, brackets in the back to easily mm -hmm. hang, so you can certainly hang this. But I kind of love the fact that you don't have to. Like, I feel like I can right. put art now in places that I wouldn't typically have maybe the room for or maybe, you know, don't have the wall space for. You can really get creative with this. I agree. I loved how you started off with it propped up against the mantle. I think that's mm -hmm. an awesome idea to be able to give like a little bit of height to something. We always have candles and maybe some little figurines on the mantle, but it's really nice to add that, you know, just kind of element of layers and design. And the fact that this lights up, it's, it's not like a in your face lit piece. I love the soft white of those globes kind of sprinkled throughout. I love that it says, let it snow. So no matter where you live, you've got your little beautiful snowy scene and the pine trees remind me of when I was growing up in California and, and Lake Tahoe and oh, thinking yeah. about just those beautiful pine trees and just that lovely, peaceful, snowy scene. So it's really just, I think, one of those um, pieces that, that make you think kind of of down home country, just, you know, days gone by. And when I would visit Plow and Hearth, there's this beautiful barn that's just about a mile down the road. And every time I visited Plow and Hearth, I drove to that barn because it was this old antique barn and it's just got the beautiful mountains right behind because uh, Plow and Hearth is nestled in between um, the, the it kind of in a valley by with some mountains on the side of um, the valley there. And it's just so beautiful. And this piece reminded me of that beautiful barn that I would always see when I would visit Plow and Hearth. And I just think that anyone who gets this home, you're going to find that special place, but you can also move it. So I used it on my front porch last year. Yeah. This year I might put it in my kitchen kind of next to a window. It, and it just fits in those slender spaces, but also you can kind of make it an anchor piece with decorating with little pine trees around it or whatever you want. Absolutely. It's just a great piece. When you talked about those pine trees and um, you know, like the California, like Lake Tahoe pines, all of a sudden I felt like I could almost smell like that crisp, fresh fallen snow. Mm -hmm. Will you tell me how the, 
the lights work. Now I know that they're gonna operate with just two AA batteries, so yes. you probably have those in your kitchen drawer. But tell me about the timer function, because for sure. so many people, this is gonna be maybe their favorite part about it. It turns itself on and yeah. off. Especially if you have it somewhere where you don't wanna have to get to it, like out on the front porch. Um, so on the back, there's a battery box and there's just a little toggle here. And so it's on off timer and you just toggle it right back there. So when it goes on to timer mode, it's six hours on, 18 hours off. So that's something that you don't have to think about. Just, you know, like with all timers, you choose when it, you want it to come on and then it'll come on every single day. So even if you have like a really high ledge, maybe um, in your stairwell that you want to put this on or maybe in your living room up on top of your china cabinet or something when you put it there you put it on that timer mode you don't have to think about it so you awesome. just know that you're going to enjoy those lights and because it's tall but a little more narrow mm -hmm. at just over nine inches wide you can yes. put these in places like even ledges that you typically wouldn't be able to put mm -hmm. art give us a call right. at one 800 if you want to add this to the collection i think this would be a wonderful one for maybe a newly married couple you're looking for a for gift for them this can be that piece of art that they pull out every year and think of you and it's not just for holidays it's for the whole holiday season now still to come these are always very popular from Plow and Hearth. It is the hand-hooked holiday rug or pillow. And the pillow